Hello everybody, Jean back with some more Mars anomalies and inside lander news, the 2020 rover mission canals and is the Martian sky blue or red? And uh, we'll be looking at what I speculate could be an old irrigation system in Jezero Crater, the designation of the 2020 rover mission landing site. Uh, as you know by now, the InSight lander successfully landed on Mars yesterday and um, as of the time of this video returned three images to Earth. We're familiar with the two on the right. This is one of the latest ones where the dust cover was removed and we get a nice clear picture of the horizon and the Martian sky which as usual is filtered to look red and uh, there we can see it close up they've applied the red filter that we're all familiar with producing this strange uh, I don't know, mustard colored imagery this is from the landing yesterday and um, a screenshot directly from the live feed and there we can clearly see the horizon and a blue sky. Um, that's it up close. You can see the blue sky right there. And uh, Rob Manning, the chief engineer for NASA JPL, had the following to say. Oh, there it is. You can see a better view. You can see that really is debris and there's the horizon back there. Uh, the blue, uh, bluish sky, uh, uh, that's part of the lander deck on the front left. Um, I can't take out, but it looks like there's not a lot of rocks in the field of view, end quote. So, is this soft disclosure or are the engineers and scientists at NASA and JPL, um, confused about what the real color of the Martian sky is uh, come on I mean really we've seen photographs where we see a blue sky and uh, other photographs where we see this reddish mustardy color I don't know um, messed up color so I wish they'd make up their minds I mean whether it's blue or not we we won't give a, a flying hoot i mean who cares if it's blue just show us the true color and it will save them so much time in processing images if they don't have to apply this ridiculous filter every time to their photographs so i'm just saying um an interesting observation was it a slip a oops moment or is it soft disclosure or what so let me know what you guys and girls make of that statement and uh, the original photograph we saw and uh, why they keep applying this sort of filter. So let's get to the main topic. NASA announces landing site for Mars 2020 rover. This was published on 19 November 2018 and uh, the reason why I'm only doing this video now is I've done quite a bit of research and investigation into this area and I've found various anomalies and in this one I'm just going to be showing what I speculate what might be old uh, irrigation water canals so um, just for those that don't know the 2020 rover is based on the Mars Science Laboratories Curiosity rover configuration. So it's about the same size, same configuration. And uh, yeah, this is the proposed landing site in Jezero Crater. So the two photographs we're analyzing, I'll include the links to these below. Is this one candidate landing site for 2020 mission in Jezero Crater? 
acquired on the 21st of August 2014 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel and we're going to be checking out the images are cropped from the JP2 B and white map projected file as a crop from the low res JPEG we'll be checking out anomalies in this region over here and then the second photograph covering uh, basically an area in the vicinity proposed MSL site in Nilifosse Crater which is the, basically the same area as Jezero Crater just two different naming conventions there acquired on 26 February 2007 also at 25 centimeters per pixel and also I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a crop from the low res JPEG. So this area is located in Jezero Crater just to the west of the center and um, the coordinates 18.54 degrees north, 77.49 degrees east. And uh, this is the area we're checking out right here. So the first anomaly, this is actual scale. You can see these uh, what look like canals. We've got straight lines and uh, perpendicular lines. Plenty of geometry in that. These canals are about uh, five meters wide and uh, yeah very interesting these don't look like walls per se these look more like um, they could have been hollowed out uh, water canals or something like that this is zoomed out not to scale we can see the area I zoomed in on right there and this seems to be on uh, the if you could call it a terrace or plateau inside the crater this is a higher elevation than that by the looks of it as the other view um, also these uh, canals seem to be about five meters wide yeah we've got one uh, that intersects over there and stops and uh, doesn't continue out that way so that's why I speculate these might be artificial if this was natural uh, I think that would continue up that way but anyway let's uh, have a look at that zoomed out not the scale he has uh, two more in another area also with the uh, width of about four or five meters parallel lines there we are zoomed up not to scale check it this we've got a uh, very straight one running through there also about four or five meters wide got one intersecting here it looks as if this joined up to what might have been a water reservoir or dam ends right there we'll check in the zoom out this one comes up stops right there as well might continue there I'm not sure can't say for sure but uh, check it that geometry as well and it links up nicely to that um, may have been a dam or something so check that out and then it, there's another one on this side with more parallel lines like these have been uh, water reservoirs or dams to get this here yeah, it uh, continues there and there nicely through the center of that circular depression so yeah another area where we can see uh, the larger canals or five meters wide and then they branch off into these smaller ones so could this have been like um, a farming area 
this being the main water supply and then feeding off into these um, fields highly speculative I know here we are zoomed out not to scale you can see the main canal is another one and then they branch off into the smaller ones similar to how we do things here on earth take care as well so these are about three to four meters wide we've got straight lines and then intersecting at 90 degrees here we got one that just stops there it doesn't continue on this way another sign that this could be artificial and of intelligent design zoomed out there's another one of those that links up to a circular depression like a dam or reservoir that comes out there lots of devastation in this area like all other areas on Mars I check that out I've only got this one single canal coming out of this which looks rather dark now could that be an indication of some recent moisture seeping up to the surface that be mud who knows and let's hop over to Mars and uh, to where Jezero is uh, located let's switch on the CTX mosaic there's a bit more contrast <coughs> so it's in uh, this area yeah it looks like um, a type of a delta or a fan lots of uh, liquid may have flowed through here that's what it looks like and uh, these so-called canals that I speculate located on these higher regions some down here have a look at the elevated view for those interested in topography so it's rather flat that being Jezero crater we can see a bit of uh, curvature in the red lines there and using the scale indicator this area is about um, six kilometers long about six wide very interesting that they chose this spot so um, could these be canals they don't look like uh, usual cracks that you get in clay these are far too far apart and uh, maybe too wide I'm not sure so um, that's it for this video please let me know what you make of these and um, I'll be back soon with some more Mars anomalies see you then